Hey guys, it's Candice. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on this video today. I just want to share with you what um, candles I finished in the past two weeks or so. So, this is me burning. Sometimes I burn about three to four candles at a time. <laughs> I know that's maybe excessive, but it works for me in my home. As um, I think y'all kind of know that I really didn't jump from candles to wax. It's like um, I jumped from buying Lush a lot to buying wax. And now, I don't know. I just love candles too, which is backwards for a lot of people I know. But, um, of course, vendor wax um, for me comes first before candles. But I've been enjoying burning my candles. So I got through, um, I think 10 candles here the past two weeks. Yeah. And, um, we got Homeworks, Goose Creek, and, um, Bath and Body Works. Let's just get started. Let's just do that. Me rambling. But happy Thursday before I start. Hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are. So the first one is Scarlet Apple. As usual, I got to have some hair somewhere, right? Okay. Let's see. Try it again. Can y'all see that? Okay. Scarlet Apple. Goose Creek. I don't like that they don't really put scent notes. But this burned down beautifully. Y'all, what I learned about Goose Creek in general with burning candles anyway is that not to put extinguish with your top with goose creek because that was one of the reasons my candles was becoming so disgusting and muddy and dark burnt smelling so i tried it out with um scarlet apple and i was using a wick dipper and i bought a wick dipper i have a candle trimmer a wick trimmer too whatever the snuff thing that you can extinguish with as well i have the whole kit but i never really used the wick dipper i just didn't and i would extinguish with the top now for homeworks for me that works well with no issue kringle i can do that with no issue and some of the bath and body works but with goose creek you cannot extinguish with the top your wax is going to be horrible so Beautiful burn. I think this is probably my first one that has just burned so beautifully. This is a beautiful apple scent. This kind of was super duper strong too. I um burned this all over in the guest bedroom, uh, my bedroom. It just was a beautiful candle. I don't know if I would repurchase. I mean, if, if I saw it on like sale for under like nine dollars i would pick it up not that i didn't love it but it's such a strong scent it will overpower anything that you have melted in your home okay next goose creek we have is apple pies and hay rides i really love this label it's so cute let me show you guys look at a little girl on there with the pies super cute label this one burned all the way down as well. Um, it doesn't look dirty, but on the sides, it's a little dark. Um, like I said, I've been extinguishing my candles, I feel like, the correct way now with Goose Creek, and I haven't been having any issues. So this one, it was an apple scent, but it wasn't super strong. I don't know the scent notes for this one. Yeah, I don't remember. I'm sorry, you guys. But apple pies and hay rides. I got I gotta find the scent description. So I gotta tell you guys because I remember a note coming out in this candle when I was burning it. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So I wrote down the scent notes for apple pies and hay rides. And I also noticed that this is out of stock on the website. So I don't know if Goose Creek will bring this candle back or not. But it says apple barrel, brown sugar, cinnamon, fallen leaves, and pumpkin. I definitely knew I was getting like that apple brown sugar note. 
it almost smelled like it had like an oat note in there as well it was nice but i can't buy it right now even if i wanted to the next one i finished is goose creek carnival apple this was a favorite this was so freaking good i brought my candles all the way down um scent notes for this one it's green apple spun sugar light cinnamon warm caramel and vanilla so this definitely to me smelled like a caramel apple um projected pretty well for me probably like a seven out of ten this one was a 10 out of 10 the scarlet apple this one was probably like a five or six and the carnival apple was like seven it was very strong um i had a guy come in to like um i had an issue with my y'all my mind be so blank hold on it was a wiring issue basically so the guy came out to check on it and the first thing he said when he came in my home was man it smells so good in here now i hadn't even turned any of my wet swarms on because of the wiring issue so i was just burning this candle and he could smell it as soon as he like went to the door came to my door so this is a repurchase for me for sure any more goose creek okay i think that's it for goose creek now we're gonna go into bath and body works I finished Ghoul Friends. A Ghoul Friend. This one is from this year. Scent notes is um, Dark Strawberries, Ghostly Peony, Spine Chilling Citrus. Okay. We love this one in this home. Burned down beautifully. I did this one in my bedroom. And I'm not going to lie. I fell asleep taking a nap. Um, One late evening. <laughs> And I forgot to block this candle. And see, with wax, you don't have to do that. And I don't like, you know, not remembering to blow out a candle. So, I make sure before I go to sleep at night, for real, for real, that I check my entire house and make sure all the candles are, you know, extinguished or whatever. But this one burned a little bit longer than I would have hoped. But I didn't have any issues with it. This is a sweet um, citrus strawberry type of scent. I didn't have no soothing or anything. Really good candle. And it was probably about um, like a seven out of ten. This one was beautiful. This is Cozy Sunday Night. Um, Don't really care for the packaging, but I did um, love this scent. It's warm cinnamon, crystallized ginger, and vanilla bean. This one burned all the way down. This was just like a, a almost cinnamon, like a sweet, smoky cinnamon type of scent. Yeah, it smells very warm. I love this candle. It, it did its thing for me. I really, really appreciate it. The ginger note, which I don't really care for ginger and like wax melts. But in this candle, it was done tastefully to where I could you know, handle the scent, and it was really good. Also, you guys, so I changed my warmer. If you remember, I think I had the, um. well, I did have the pumpkin warmer right here. I am melting some wax, but I turned it off um, because I didn't care for the glare. It was very, like, bright, and I didn't want that um, to cause an issue for people watching this video, but... It goes perfect in here, you know. Um, I had to send my, the first one sent, see, um, sent me. I had to send it back because um, it wouldn't stand up straight. So, never had to send anything back from Scentsy, but it was super duper easy. Uh, no issues, really. And um, they're also going to send me, like, a plug-in warmer because of the wait time. So, they sent me an email saying they're going to send me, it's some type of flower um, plug-in warmer. So, I appreciate that, too. I just wanted to share since you probably noticed there's a different warmer behind me now. But, yeah. I was just waiting for that one to come in. Next, we did pumpkin cupcake. I did not care for this candle at all, you guys. Scent notes, whipped buttercream, Madagascar vanilla, pumpkin spice, and freshly baked cupcake. <sighs> Yeah, when I was burning this, 
this smell burnt to me. It was giving me that vibe um, pumpkin pecan waffles gives after you have burned it a couple of times. Like it just started to smell like something is burning. I got that with this pumpkin cupcake. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the pumpkin spice note that they're using here in this candle. But I'm glad to have tried it. But I don't think I would pick up pumpkin cupcake. Also, the throw for this was just nothing really, to be honest. Besides that burnt note, I just kept picking up. So, yep, got rid of that one. Next, we have Summer Boardwalk. I just finished this one off. Um, Yeah, I got this candle this year early on. And um, scent notes are caramel, glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salty sweet cream. I know this scent is popular with vendor wax or whatever. Um, Yeah, this look a little crazy because once I extinguished it, I moved it off of um my dresser in the guest bedroom. And I guess the wax kind of moved all over the place before it... um. Hearted. I love this scent. I love Summer Boardwalk. Um, and I'm not even big into like popcorn types of scent. This was good. And this is a strong candle. Um, yeah, this is one of those really strong ones. Um, this one and Berry Waffle Cone are two of my absolute favorite must-have um summer candles from Bath and Body Works. So this was probably about a seven or eight in a smaller bedroom. Um, I did burn this first in my open concept, only had one, and it projected um, like a light to medium, probably like a medium, but it was stronger in a smaller space. So I would definitely pick up Summer Boardwalk again. Okay, next two are homeworks. So I finished Cinnamon Apple Honey. This jar is just gorgeous, like those labels oh my god so scent notes are harvest apple cinnamon stick clover honey and autumn berries okay so you have apple berries honey and cinnamon yeah did i finish this one it looks like it's some wax left in here i don't know yeah it's no scent really so i think i'm gonna just call it done it's down to the nitty-gritty anyway but what i can remember from this candle because i finished this one up last week it was very light it was very light beautiful scent though beautiful scent it just did not project the way i would have wanted it to in my home i did put it under the homeworks hurricane inside of it and i don't put my hurricane where there's a draft or air flow or anything i just don't know this one would not be a repurchase um this smelled like cinnamon and apples like i said i didn't get a lot of berry notes the um autumn berries that's like non-existent but you do get the apple and the cinnamon maybe a touch of honey but it's not like sweet sweet honey a sweet honey scent but yeah, I just didn't care for this one. Would not repurchase. Sometimes I can get a homeworks candle that really works for me. And sometimes you never know with them. You just never know with this company. You might find one that'll blow you out your room. And then you might find one you can't smell. This one, however, was really good. And I see why this one is a favorite. Harvest Leaves. Now, me looking at the name, I would have thought that this would have been like a... You know, like a maybe spicy leaves, um, maybe even woodsy type of scent. So listen to the scent notes. Spiced pumpkin, mandarin, which is like a citrus almost, cranberry, fir, balsam, and applewood. I feel like this, the scent description do not match the name, but this burned down beautifully. That's one thing I could say about homeworks candles. I don't get no issue with them. And I put, I extinguish with my top. I don't get no issues with the um, performance. Rarely. I know people have issues with like puny wigs or the wigs, um, losing a wig in the wax. Thankfully, that has not happened to me. So, 
you know, I know it's a candle out there that's going to do it probably. But this candle did come off a little Christmassy. Like, um, you don't get a lot of the balsam. It's, it's more pumpkin than anything. Well, I would say coming off a little, like, late fall type of scent. Not early fall. This smells more like going into Thanksgiving fall. Yeah, I definitely could get the pumpkin. I don't get mandarin. I did get cranberry. It's the cranberry pumpkin. Um, balsam, I don't pick up on cold, but I, I, when I warmed this, I could pick up a balsam note. I love tree blends, but this isn't like a heavy tree type of candle at all. This was beautiful though. Harvest leaf, if I caught it on sale, if they mark this down to maybe $13.99 or something, I would get another one. Otherwise, I don't think I would pick up another one, but it did perform pretty decent in my home. I did it in my kitchen. Um, you know, like in the middle of your stove, I put it right there so we can kind of just walk throughout the kitchen and it did pretty good. All right, the last candle here is from Yankee. This candle burned down so dang fast, y'all. This is um, Vanilla Cream Brulee. Um, one of these little five-week candles. I purchased this for eight bucks at um, Bell's. Eight bucks, right? The scent, when I smelled it on cold, it was beautiful. I was like, oh, this is a nice vanilla scent. Really creamy, like authentic vanilla brulee. Child, this had no scent. <laughs> this candle didn't do nothing. This candle just burned and burned, literally. Like within, if I burned this, I think I was burning it like every other day. I was done with it within a week and it's probably like three burns. This candle burns too fast. It burns extremely too fast. It's not a lot of wax for as many wicks are in here. So I think that's the issue with these type of candles. I did see another one like this. I just skipped past it because yes, it burned down all the way. But it was something weird that happened with this candle. Um, Halfway through, it was like little specks, like brown specks. Um, I don't know if that was because of the wax or something, but it was really gross looking. Um, thankfully it went away, but if it didn't, I was going to show you guys exactly what it looked like. $7.99. I no, I don't care about it being $7.99. I would not pick that one up again. So that is it. You guys, sorry, my phone is going dead, but that is it. Um, I'm going to get these put in my recycling box that I recycle. And, um, I got to run some errands today. So I just want to get on here quickly and show you guys the candles that I got through before um, I end up with 20 candles to talk about. And that I was not going to be happy with. I don't really like to make super long videos. I like to be kind of, you know, run through what I got. Let me show you guys. Hold on. So this is my empty basket. Look how much I've done I'm coming along. So I shall... I should have an empties video coming up soon. Um, we got a lot of the wets that I got through before. Not that the wets I got through before. I'm rambling. Um, some of my melting basket, I've melted some of those. And other things I melted. I got some Scentsy, some Walmart wax, other vendors that I just didn't think to add in my box when I was doing my melting basket or whatever. So that should be fun. Maybe on a couple of days, um, what's today? Thursday, probably about next week, Monday, I will have an empty video uploaded to show you guys what I got through. So that is all. I hope you guys take care and make sure to like and subscribe if you already haven't. Thank you for um, taking time out of your day to watch this video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs>